Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel, Zach D Productions here, and I'm here for yet again another ranking video. This will be another opening track ranking video. Now for this video, I'll be doing an opening track ranking for everyone's favorite Christian metal band, at least they're my favorite Christian metal band anyways. The band is Demon Hunter. Really great band, very underrated band as well. Definitely deserves a lot more attention within the uh, metal world, basically. Now, when it comes to this ranking, I'm just going to be mentioning the opening tracks from the main studio albums. So, no compilations, so that means no Songs of Death and Resurrection, uh, no 45 Days or, you know, live albums or really anything like that. Just the 10 main studio albums from Demon Hunter. I'll be going from my least favorite to my favorite, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, this video, doing this list was kind of easy, especially with what I had last, because to be honest, there's really only one opening track from Demon Hunter that I'm not that crazy about. And that is what's last on this list, which is Trying Times from Outlive. Now, that is, of course, if you don't include Jesus Wept, because I do realize that some people might include the two songs, because I do realize that Trying Times kind of does align with Jesus Wept, the song itself. Uh, but if we were to combine the two, uh, the song would probably be a lot higher because, well, Jesus Wept, the song itself, I think is really great. Trying Times on its own, not so much. I'm not that crazy about it, to be honest. Uh, it starts off, you know, with this drum pattern and, you know, it's, it's all right. I mean, it's not terrible or anything, but... It's easily my least favorite opening track from Demon Hunter. So next we have the song Death, which is from Extremist. Extremist is one of my favorite Demon Hunter albums, so it is rather surprising that I have this one ranked rather low on this list. But it's always been one of my least favorite opening tracks. Yes, it's a pretty heavy song, you know, it starts with these chants and then, you know, it goes right into some heaviness and, of course, the chorus is rather simple. You have Ryan just screaming, I am death. Well, first of all, Ryan Clark, no, you're not death. Chuck Stoltenier is. <laughs> but either way, um, again, the song is okay. Uh, a bit better than Trying Times, but it, it ain't all it. I'll just say that. It's not all it, I guess. But not bad. So next we have Descending Upon Us, the opening track from The World is a Thorn. Um... Not a song I think to return to a lot, but again, the song is okay. It's not bad, you know, it's got a pretty decent chorus. Um, you know, it's just a traditional Demon Hunter song with some, you know, screams mixed in with some cleans, like with a lot of metalcore and a lot of Demon Hunter tracks in general. But yeah, not a bad song, but never been one of my favorite opening tracks. So next we have Cut to Fit, the opening track from the album War. A decent song. Um, I know some people say that this is one of the worst opening tracks from Demon Hunter. I don't think it's as bad as some of the songs that I've mentioned previously, but you know, it's all right. I know that some people don't like the screams over the clean singing in the chorus or whatever, and that doesn't really bother me that much. It's a pretty heavy song that has some pretty good guitar work and everything like that, so yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so next we have More Than Bones from Peace, a decent song. Um, I know that some people don't like this song because, you know, some people say it's generic, but I mean, you could make that argument, but I think the song is not bad. I think it's pretty good, actually. Yes, it's a bit more accessible. It's a bit more radio friendly for the band, but yeah, it's not bad. I think it's decent for what it is. So. Next, we have Screams of the Undead from the debut album. It's a good song, uh, very Slipknot influenced, uh, and just very new metal influenced in general. You know, you can tell with the debut album, Demon Hunter were influenced by bands like Slipknot and Korn, just to na name a couple bands, but yeah. Uh, Screams of the Undead, it's a good song, but not my favorite opening track, but yeah. It's pretty good for what it is, though. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tougher. So next, I'm going to have to go with... Oh, I got to think about this. 
I'm gonna have to go with Not Ready to Die from Summer of Darkness. It's a good song. It is. Uh, pretty accessible. I know that this song was a good gateway for many people when getting into Demon Hunter. Um, it was not my gateway, but I can see how it could be for many. Uh, again, a traditional metalcore song that has some screams, some good cleans, very catchy chorus and everything. Yeah, it's a very accessible metalcore sounding song. Really good stuff. Okay, so next I'm going to have to go with Storm the Neg Gates, which is from uh, the album from the same name. Um, yeah, it's a good song. One of their heaviest songs, without a doubt. And yeah, I dig this song. And I might even go as far to say that it's maybe their heaviest song, or at least one of their heaviest. I'd go as far to say that it's at least in the top three heaviest Demon Hunter tracks. It's, it's good. So here we are at the top two. So at number two, I'm going to have to go with Crucifix, which is from True Defiance. Really great song. Another one of Demon Hunter's heaviest songs. Uh, just really great harsh vocals from Demon Hunter. Really great guitar work and everything. And the True Defiance album, just in general, I think has some of the band's best guitar work. I mean, Patrick Judge really did give a lot to this band. But yeah, Crucifix, really great song. So that only leaves one left, and that last song is The Flame That Guides Us Home slash Not I from The Triptych. The Triptych is my favorite Demon Hunter album, probably, and I'm going to combine these two tracks together, The Flame That Guides Us Home and Not I, but I think most people would not count The Flame That Guides Us Home since that, that's basically an introduction to Not I, so I think most people would just say Not I is the one that would count. But yeah, Not I, it's maybe one of my favorite Demon Hunter songs as well. It's a really great song, again, that has uh, basically everything that you would want in a metalcore song. You know, it's got some good cleans, some good screams from Ryan, and yeah, really great stuff. Uh, very heavy song, one of the heavier songs from the triptych. Um, it's fast, energetic, and it's just great. So there you have it. That's my ranking of the Demon Hunter opening tracks. Feel free to let me know what you think. How would you rank the Demon Hunter opening tracks? Feel free to let me know. So on that note, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.